Thank you for joining us. Always good to be with you. We start at five with two new arrests of men in Indiana now being connected to the January 6th Capitol riots. These are the two men. We've put them up on the screen here for you. On your left, that is Donald Moss of Elizabethtown. On your right, that is James Boehner, uh, Boehner of Hope. Yeah, so prosecutors say uh, this photo shows Moss making a fist, and you could see that there. And then Boehner hitting an officer, uh, officer's wrist, and that's circled right here. Now, he was told to step back, but that didn't happen, obviously. They say after physical confrontations with officers, both men were uh, about to enter the Capitol building. They did so once inside. Prosecutors say Moss grabbed a chair, placed it in the path of a ceiling door, preventing it from closing and keeping rioters out. Both men are now facing charges for assaulting police and disorderly conduct. The FBI today also arrested 53-year-old David Kuntz of Elizabeth for his actions during the Capitol riots. He's charged with obstruction of an official proceeding and entering a restricted building. Prosecutors say video does show Kuntz within the restricted area of the U.S. Capitol. They say he was wearing a black tactical vest with a red and white Reaper image on the back highlighted right there. Court documents say Kuntz is associated with the three percenter militia. Meanwhile, an Indiana man pleaded guilty to assaulting a police officer during the Capitol riots. Video showed 32-year-old Curtis Tate of Jeffersonville in restricted areas of the U.S. Capitol and using a metal baton to hit officers. It also shows him breaking a window and throwing a speaker box, a broken table leg, a table lamp, and a shoe at an officer. Uh, sentencing for Tate is set for July.